आज के इस वेबिनार में आप सभी का हार्दिक अभिनंदन है मूल रूप से ये वेबिनार डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड फॉरेन स्टडीज चौधरी देवीलाल यूनिवर्सिटी सिरसा की ओर से आयोजित किया जा रहा है और ये उस श्रृंखला की एक कड़ी है जो आचार्य अभिनव गुप्त को ध्यान में रखते हुए उनकी शताब्दी उनकी जयंती को ध्यान में रखते हुए जो आयोजित किए जा रहे हैं उसी कड़ी में अंग्रेजी विभाग सिरसा यूनिवर्सिटी की ओर से ये आज का कार्यक्रम आयोजित किया गया है किसी कारणवश जो वहाँ के अध्यक्ष हैं वो अभी तक हमारे साथ नहीं जुड़ पाए हैं तो समय सीमा को ध्यान में रखते हुए और बाकी सब बातों को ध्यान में रखते हुए हम ये कार्यक्रम उनकी अनुमति से आरंभ करते हैं ये अपने आप में बहुत एक सुंदर और हम सभी के लिए प्रसन्नता की बात है कि अंग्रेजी विभाग ने इस तरह का एक उद्यम किया है कि उन्होंने अभिनव गुप्त को स्वीकार किया और उसको जानने और समझने के लिए उनकी ओर से ये प्रथम प्रयास है आज का विषय जैसा कि आप देख ही रहे हैं अपनी स्क्रीन्स के ऊपर अभिनव गुप्ता कंट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडियन थ्योरी ऑफ साहित्य एक अनुशीलन और इसमें जो हमारे आज के मुख्य वक्ता हैं प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार जी जो अंग्रेजी विभाग पंजाब विश्वविद्यालय चंडीगढ़ से हमारे साथ मुख्य वक्ता के रूप में उपस्थित हैं और उनसे हम ये जानने का प्रयास करेंगे कि अभिनव गुप्त ने जो कुछ भारतीय साहित्य के सिद्धांत दिए हैं उनकी शब्दावली क्या रही है उनके परिभाषा क्या रही है उनका दृष्टिकोण क्या रहा है इन सारे विषयों के ऊपर वो चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं लेकिन पूर्व भूमिका के रूप में पृष्ठभूमि के रूप में मैं एक दो बातें आप लोगों के साथ साझा करना चाहता हूं जब हम अभिनव गुप्त की दो कारण हैं एक तो अभिनव गुप्त के बारे में बात करने का कारण ये है कि किसी तरह से हम जो एक नरेटिव सारे भारत में चला हुआ है अंग्रेजी प्रधान जो एक व्याख्यान चले हुए हैं डिस्कोर्स चले हुए हैं उसके एक विकल्प के रूप में हम अभिनव गुप्त का जो विचार है विमर्श है उसको हम प्रस्तुत करें ये एक कारण है दूसरा कारण है कि इस सारा जो विमर्श है अभिनव गुप्त को लेकर के या परंपरा को लेकर के उसको किसी तरह से क्या हम अप्लाइड रूप में प्रस्तुत कर सकते हैं या नहीं कर सकते अप्लाइड का मतलब है कि उसके आधार पर क्या हम आलोचनाएं प्रस्तुत कर सकते हैं क्या हम विमर्श उपस्थित कर सकते हैं या कोई अन्य आयामों को या साहित्य का मूल्यांकन इनके आधार पर आधुनिक साहित्य का मूल्यांकन इनके आधार पर कर सकते हैं तो ये दो कारण विशेष हैं अब इसके साथ जानने वाली और समझने वाली जो बात है वो ये है कि इसमें कठिनाइयां बहुत सारी हैं दो कठिनाइयों जिनकी हम पिछली बार भी बात कराए हैं और दो बार तीन बार तो हम बात कर चुके हैं लेकिन कई बातों को दोहरा लेना आवश्यक इसलिए होता है कि ताकि हमारा कोर्स ऑफ थिंकिंग जो है थॉट है वो सटीक रहे सीधा रहे और उसमें कहीं कोई इधर उधर की बात ना हो तो हम लोगों की जो स्थिति है उसी संदर्भ में मैं कह रहा हूँ कि हम लोगों की स्थिति एक और तो नियंत्रित है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के द्वारा जिसमें आपको प्रियम्बल के रूप में कुछ मूल्य दिए गए हैं कुछ फंडामेंटल राइट्स आदि के रूप में दिए गए हैं और दूसरी तरफ जिस समाज में आप रह रहे हैं वो ट्रेड और कॉमर्स का है जहाँ पर गुड और स्मार्टनेस वैल्यूज स्मार्टनेस की वैल्यूज जो हैं वो आपको परिभाषित करती है अब इनके बीच में आचार्य अभिनव गुप्त की बात करना कश्मीर शैविज्म की बात करना और उनकी शब्दावली से परिचित होना अपने आप में एक चुनौती रहेगी अब ये शब्दावली क्या है ये शब्दावली प्रकाश विमर्श स्वतंत्रता और इस तरह की बहुत सारे शब्द जो हैं वो आपको डॉक्टर साहब परिचित कराएंगे लेकिन यहाँ पर क्योंकि हमारा ध्यान जो है वो ज्यादा केंद्रित है इंडियन थ्योरी ऑफ साहित्य जिसको मुझे लगता है कि अभिनव गुप्त के संदर्भ में हमें दो शब्दों से पकड़ना होगा एक है रस और दूसरा है ध्वनि रस एक और प्रक्रिया है जो आपके स्थायी भावों से परिवर्तित होकर के परिवर्तित होकर के रस के रूप में अभिव्यक्त होता है और दूसरी ओर जो ध्वनि है वो एक तरह का स्पंद शास्त्र है एक तरह के स्पंदन है जो वस्तुनिष्ठ भी होते हैं जो परिस्थिति निष्ठ भी होते हैं और जो व्यंजना निष्ठ भी होते हैं तो उन दोनों के बीच में आज हम प्रयास करेंगे कि अभिनव गुप्त 
की कंट्रीब्यूशन साहित्य में क्या है और एक शब्द और कह करके एक पंक्ति और कह करके मैं मुख्य वक्ता को मंच पर आमंत्रित करूंगा कि इस सारी स्थिति को समझने के लिए चार शब्द और जरूर आप ध्यान में रखें क्योंकि उस चार शब्दों की पृष्ठभूमि के बिना अभिनव गुप्त क्या पूरे भारतीय विचार को कश्मीर के विचार को समझना मुश्किल होगा उसमें से एक जो शब्द है अवधारणा है कॉन्सेप्ट है वो है प्रतिभिज्ञा की थ्यूरी ऑफ रिकोगशन जैसे आप कहते हैं और इसके बिना जो है वो हमारी ना तो स्मृति काम करेगी ना इसके बाद बिना जो है वो हमारे अनुभव काम आएंगे तो उसको समझना उसको उसके विषय में पता होना जो है वो आवश्यक है तभी आप रस और ध्वनि की बात को समझ पाएंगे दूसरा शब्द है स्पंद शब्द स्पंद संप्रदाय जिसके आधार पर खड़ा है वाइब्रेशन जिसे आप कहते हैं मोटे तौर पे आप उसका ट्रांसलेशन कर सकते हैं लेकिन स्पंद अपने आप में जब तक नहीं हमें स्पष्ट होगा वो अवधारणा भी हमें पता होनी चाहिए तभी हम अभिनव गुप्त को समझ पाएंगे तीसरा शब्द है कुल या कॉल जिसे आप कहते हैं उसकी पूरी अवधारणा उसके पीछे का दर्शन और उसके बीच में जो रहने वाली भावनात्मक वैचारिकता है उसको भी हमें पकड़ना होगा और चौथा जो शब्द इसमें हमें दिखाई देता है वो है क्रम ये एक के बाद एक जो हमारा सिस्टम चलता है क्रमशः जो चीजें चलती हैं उस वो किस प्रकार से चलती हैं इन सब बातों को आपको ध्यान में रखना होगा तो इन चार शब्दों को की बैकग्राउंड में पृष्ठभूमि में हम समझने का प्रयास करें कि रस और ध्वनि के माध्यम से आचार्य अभिनव गुप्त ने हमें क्या इस भारतीयता को कंट्रीब्यूट किया है साहित्य के शास्त्र के संदर्भ में और क्या उसको हम आज के अंग्रेजी या हिंदी के जितने भी साहित्य हैं उनका मूल्यांकन कर सकते हैं या नहीं कर सकते ये बात भी हम बाद में देखेंगे तो इन्हीं सब शब्दों के साथ मैं आमंत्रित करता हूँ मुख्य वक्ता प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार जी को तो उनसे मैं निवेदन करूंगा कि वो अपनी बात हमारे साथ वो हमारे साथ आज की बात साझी करें प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार जी नमस्कार आभार प्रोफेसर आशुतोष जी सभा में उपस्थित सभी मित्रों को सहृदयों को मेरा प्रणाम ओम पूर्ण मद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हाउ टू स्पीक इन ए लिमिटेड टाइम फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ से ऑफ फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स हाउ टू हाउ हाउ टू समराइज द प्रोटीन जीनियस ऑफ an immortal figure like acharya avinav gupta who is a mystic thinker who is a poetician who is a theorist who is a who is an you can say he is a polymath because if you see his work and the range of his work remember he lived only for say some 60 odd years you, the dates are uncertain but look at the production look at his contribution to the world of indic knowledge so in the very beginning i sound this kind of uh, this kind of statutory warning that no one perhaps uh, uh, let alone a, a particularly indu ignorant person like me can do in can do justice to that ineffable contribution of a of an eminent scholar sadhak tapasvi mystic called abhinav gupta uh, in one lecture or even in 100 lectures because this is infinite the contribution is infinite and, uh, and and therefore i will try to focus on certain concepts uh, which occur recur uh, in his uh, in his in his works particularly those Uh, that are directly related to the drashya and shravya kavya so all his work that is his complete avra is interconnected 
इट इज इंटर टेक्सटुअल इसमें अंतर पाठीयता है यू कांट यू कांट स्टडी अभिनव गुप्ता एज श्री आशुतोष जी राइटली सेट विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हिज डिस्कोर्स ऑन त्रिक ऑन कश्मीर शैविज्म और एंड मोर ओवर इफ वी लेट गो ऑफ प्रतिभिज्ञा देन नथिंग कैन बी गेन्ड बाई दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन इफ वी लेट गो ऑफ प्रतिभिज्ञा देन नो नॉलेज इज पॉसिबल no utterance is meaningful if we let go of this one word one pratyay uh, which came to abhinav gupta ji you know through a tradition of his guru uh, and remember how this word pratyabhigya changed the entire landscape of making meanings in india for in bharat particularly in consonance with the sanatan dharmi sanatan dharma centric knowledge parampara of india knowledge system of india uh, so there are several concepts which i would focus on like first is uh, pratyabhigya second is sadharanikaran ras and dhvani that uh, without ras and dhvani no discussion is possible on the contribution of uh, of acharya vinay gupta to literature but but ras and dhvani while discussing ras and dhvani we we would primarily focus on the contemporary significance of pratyabhigya sadharanikarana shant sarvavarnikata sarvavarnikata who fifth and the very important uh, point that how abhinav gupta accepts as well as reject, rejects the purva paksha that is to say how abhinav gupta even transcends acharya bharat or rishi bharat how he creates a kind of discourse where he not only describes or explains the purva paksha you will see as how in lochana he transcends uh, acharya anandavardhana you know and how he uh, he he goes past even bharat muni's several concepts so that way i would focus on the contemporary significance of the discourse of uh, of uh, acharya abhinav gupta particularly shant shant sadharanikarana then as i said pratyabhigya then the, the 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 kind of a systematic interrogation of truth in different in different so social cultural and spiritual conditions how you interrogate the received truth the received gyan you know in accordance with the the, the 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 different temporal conditions so that is again abhinav gupta's salient contribution that on the one hand his discourse is eternal it is sanatan but on the other if we if we pandey ji pram pram pandey ji so on the on the other the contemporaneity of abhinav gupta's discourse cannot be can overstressed that is to say that makes abhinav gupta so so contemporary yet again that said we have to mention the fact that the dominant discourse of english studies cultural studies in fact the entire education system of india is highly west centric secularized liberalized and in a sense it supports the breaking india forces it supports those forces which try to create not pratyabhigya but anabhigya so from abhigya and anabhigya you know from abhigya and anabhigya to pratyabhigya so this entire trajectory was uh, was manipulated not by the foreigners the department of english at chaudhary devilal university has an important has an important part to it it is department of english and foreign studies there is no need to call it foreign studies because most of the department of english focus on their foreignness their foreignness in order to in order to legitimize their englishness so 
to be a department of english is to perpetuate that kind of foreignness which is sometimes either imposed on the departments of english and cultural studies and so is the case with the humanities and departments of philosophy and departments of other kinds of uh, humanities in india that the all the discourses which are operating even now in the indian universities are west centric they are not dharma centric and in that sense they are non indian in that sense they are non indian or un indian so let me begin first let me say that is the word pratyabhigya that abhinav gupta receives this word pratyabhigya now pratyabhigya you can have the avayavas the components in order to have an etymological understanding of of the of the of the of the composite that is prati abhi and gya so prati prati means you know prati again or re abhi abhi means getting closer getting closer or very closely gya means gyan the process where you you get to knowledge again is pratyabhigya that is that also presupposes that there were factors there were factors that made you amnesiac that made you forget that made you a victim of smriti bhanshata you know of of who you are that is na atmabodh or na samajabodh or na sargabodh so at all levels the this this swatvabodh this samashti bodh as well as shatru bodh you know so at all levels your 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 you need that pratyabhigya from the lokic to the alokic level and that that is that is how i interpret pratyabhigya in the contemporary context i am I, i should be i should be forgiven because i am not here to discuss the intricacies and complexities of kashmir shaivism i am trying to take up those words those concepts from abhinav gupta which are central to his contribution of representational arts including literature and other kind or music and dance you know as he was a polymath he wrote extensively on all kinds of arts and moreover the cultural matrix the social cultural matrix where pratyabhigya becomes so important remember it can never be forgotten that from 8th century onwards there were repeated attacks by the arab and islamic uh, uh, you know you can say invaders to enter kashmir so when when bhagwat pad uh, uh, abhinav gupta was writing and was 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 Uh, they are engaged in his production of knowledge and his sadhana remember there there had already been several attempts some 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 seven or eight very important attempts to enter to enter kashmir they were unsuccessful and credit should be given to that eminently forgotten hero of indian history who could not be called great because the greatness was reserved for akbar and ashok lalita aditya pande ji lalita aditya lalita aditya repels those attacks by those vidharmis had those vidharmis been successful remember they eventually became successful in 14th century you know but remember at that time when lalita aditya ji was there or or, or samrat lalita aditya was there he defeated and repulsed all these invaders and killed their killed their commanders it has been stated not by us but by the muslim or islamic chroniclers you know so that is very important that that abhinav gupta's contribution in his entire vimarsh including abhinav bharati and lochan and tantra lok and tantra sar and paramarsh that had has a backdrop that if we cannot protect if dharma cannot be protected then dharma eva hato hanti 
that the destroyed dharma will destroy you what happened to kashmir when that pratibhigya was lost kashmir was gone from 1338 to 1600 that is almost 200 years that shahmiri dynasty they systematically destroyed not only kashmir shaivism but also that indian knowledge system that sanatan dharmi gyana parampara sankritik parampara that flourished in kashmir so that is very very important so my point is pratibhigya is central to his discourse in in all his discussion on literature also that is to say why is he so different from acharya bharat because acharya bharat focuses on representation representation either it is anubhavan anukaran or anukirtan remember acharya abhinav gupta while accepting and describing in detail in abhinav bharati the concepts of anubhavan anu, anubhavan and anukaran and anukirtan he focuses on pratibhigya on this pratiti on this which is an uh, which is an alokik pratiti so what is what is it that makes a rasik or a sahriday eventually eventually reach a stage of non dualism the last stage of rasanubhuti or aswadan but during that process where the where the kula nek where that play that dramatic text and that that play is being staged by the actors it is through their actions and they are acting as a process that is avinav they are satvik vibhav anubhav and vichari bhav they come together to produce that rasa nishpatti to produce that rasa you know but but this rasa results into pratibhigya as i said transcendentally you can say spiritually but also at the level of laukik pratiti so the relevance of reading chama calls important novel dardpur perhaps it was first published in 2004 or undano kashmir 2021 or even a film like kashmir files as a as a dramatic text audio visual text cinematic text or even kerala stories now if it is not producing not only rasanubhuti because though they are the tales of karuna of karuna of that the representation of that genocide of the hindus that's a representation and remember it was abhinav gupta who said that when bharata wrote that drama would would contain itihasa then remember the definition that that abhinav gupta attaches to itihasa because it should have a sangraha it should be with itihasa what kind of itihasa that is represented that is being anukirtit that is being represented on to the stage so itihas is not mere akhyan itihas is not mere in narration a fictional narration or effect or effect based narration only until or unless and here i am i make it very important that abhinav gupta it was who said that this purusharth parakata particularly he uses the term his in his karika on the objectives of natya prathamodhyaya even in prathamodhyaya he says that one term is significant that is dharma dharmyam artham natya natya because it is dharmyam and that's why it is artham the dharma centricity 
the dharma centricity this this alaukik pratiti this rasanubhuti you know rasanubhuti you know has got has has got to be related to the representation of reality of loka because lokanu kirtan hai dhyan rahe in his entire if you read abhinav bharati then how many times the term loka and samasik samasik hit as i said i do not use the term literature for sahitya because literature has a mechanical materialistic a, a kind of combination of words and meanings only letters only if you go to the etymology and that etymology has a very important bearing on the west centric secular notion of literature which is still very predominantly you know they have to superimpose the moral the ethical and the spiritual and cultural meanings onto the onto literature we do not have that tradition either we say it wangmai so it is vak so it is vak and vak cannot be understood by going inward para pashyanti and madhyama they are all inward only vakhari is outside no theoretician before abhinav gupta did a vandana to vakhari lochan lochan mein padhiye uske chaturth adhyay mein padhiye he does a vandana to vakhari para pashyanti madhyama all right but through audio visual through audio visual audio and visual are contempt uh, uh, go together because even the audio is expressed through vakhari even when the visual is absent that's why the most important audio texts which were visual texts also but they were not audio texts like silent movies the charles chaplin movies they are the most tragic commentary on whatever was happening in europe at that time when the forces of nazism and fascism that's why i say that that this pratibhigya is important what we are trying to retrieve through that history which is being dramatized so that is important and that is where that is where he says that the purpose of natya the prayojan of natya is the loka hit is the hit of the of the samajik the samajik natya should be created natya should be created he he accepts uh, acharya uh, sorry maharshi uh, bharat's all the pro- preposi or propositions made by 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 bharat that for the purusharthas for education for instruction for the joy and for giving direction instruction to society we have to create natya but then he goes further because he puts the entire this process of creating literature as i said it is sahitya it is not only a mere combination of words and meanings because if you look for the meanings of arth arth itself means kalyan arth itself means kalyan arth one of the meanings of arth itself so when we say shabd and arth together on one way the philosophical template is the is that of kashmir shaivism where shabd and shakti shiva and shakti where prakash and vimarsh no prakash is possible without vimarsh as ashtosh ji was also telling us our all acharyas professor ramakantangiras when he was narrate he was describing the significance of pratibhigya that this pratibhigya you know presupposes that shivatva that we have to reach that stage of param shiva or shiva but how to reach it that shiva is the stage at the transcendental level it is anuttar it is anuttar it doesn't need an explanation it is self it is it is and the isness of uh, of of shiva which is which is as i said the combination of prakash and vimarsh you know once you once you understand it this understanding is a process and this process includes pratibhigya at the lokic level as well 
in our discussion of Kashmir Shaivism, kindly include the Lokic level, the Pratibhigya at the Lokic level, Lokic Pratiti. Without Swatva Bodha, it is very difficult to have the Atma Bodha, Swatva at the societal and cultural level. Because that is the level of Dharma. That is the level. Why should we create Natya? Abhinav Gupta gives a very strange reason. But strange but very contemporary reason. All our upayas, all our upayas, the government has established all kinds of mechanisms and institutions to promote what? To promote not Pratyabhigya but Abhigya. Our present education method is, a, is the best example how to create ignorance about who we are, how Itihas is being written. How our Itihas is being written. Hmm? That is the way. I was also involved in the Ek Bharat, Shrest Bharat Prakalp of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. When I was sent the first draft of history and culture, Ashtosh ji, there are dhyansa suniye. First draft which was to be circulated to the students of Indian University. What it said about Bhakti, the Bhakti, I was given the units, more, 25 units on the Bhakti Sahit. That the Indians were downtrodden, they were Dalit, they were oppressed by the Brahmins and the upper castes. And it, it is with the induction and the entry of Islam that India was liberated from the shackles of Brahman, Brahmanism. Now, this is official. Very Ashtosh. strange. <laughs> this is official. It was being distributed. Had I not been the editor of that Prakalp, it would have been, if I was only, as most of the university professors are interested in remuneration and sending back the thesis within two days, then what would have happened to this country? What was my dharma? Because I read Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra and Abhinav Bharati and Lochan and Tantra Lok, I knew the meaning of Shiva. I knew that the Pratyabhigya has to start from your kitchen, has to start from where you are immediately. And if you yes. think that by reading Ishwar Pratyabhigya Vimarshani, you will get to Pratyabhigya, you are wrong. This is my, my firm belief. My firm belief. Dharma eva hato hanti. Dharma rakshate rakshata. It is this dharma. In order to have a Ramana Maharshi, you should have an effulgent Swami Vivekananda and Sri Aurobindo and Bankim Chand. You can't have a Ramana Maharshi. Your Vedanta. Remember what happened. From Kanali, our Acharya goes to Kashmir. Another, as, as, as I contextualized, Shama calls Dardapur and Kashmir in the north, and Kashmir files and Terral story. Don't forget, Ashtosh, you would bear me out. Most of the Kashmir Shaiva texts and the texts of Indian poetics, particularly Avinavarti and Lochan, they were first published in Kerala and Madras, Trivendram and Madras. What's the connect? How did this happen? Why from Kalari a, a, a kind of a self-effulgent Shiva in the form of Shankaracharya reaches Sharada Peet? What yes. was the Pratyabhigya? Why does he establish a Peet? It was because of Pratyabhigya. To retrieve, to recover the sense of who we eternally are. That is Shankaracharya. So the Lokit Paksh of Shankaracharya, of that, that propounder of non-dualism. You remember, he was eminently Lokic, his darshan was eminently Lokic and cultural, Sanskritic, as it was philosophical and spiritual. So this is important to understand why we forget our Acharyas, why we forget, because there were no vibhava and therefore there were no anubhava. The vibhava were against pratyabhigya in the academy. As because, remember one thing that, that 
that is that cannot be forgotten in so many ways at so many places in abhinav bharti as well as lochan abhinav gupta compares this entire shrishti this sarga and this world with prapancha with natya he says that we have to understand this natya this natya this prapancha and we can only understand and pass through penetrate this prapancha through through our understanding of shiva hai na dekhiye aap kya bahut mahatvapurna baat main aapko ek bata raha hu namastra lok ke nirman kavai shambhave yatah pratikshan jagan natya prayog rasiko jana those of us who understand this this the prapancha of this world and pass through it we understand it through the anugrah of shiva namastra lok nirman kavai shab that shiva who is the mahakavi that shiva who is the mahakavi namastra lok nirman kavai shambhave yata us mahakavi shiva ko namaskar kavi means maker that's why i say we have the tradition of sahitya kavya vangmay we do not have a tradition of speaking on literature writing on literature as literature you know because that that shabd is not mere shabd that shabd is dhvani also that shabd is dhvani also and if it is dhvani then it is lokik starting from the lokik reaching the stage of alokikta ek alokik pratiti because it is dhvani and how this dhvani this shabd and that is abhinav gupta's yet another contribution yet another contribution from the entire alankarik reete guna turn he took this poetics to the not only the linguistic turn but the linguistic spiritual turn that was another uh, contribution so and and about his versatility as to how he could see vairagya in shringar and shringar in vairagya because to him the shant shant was was the samam bona unmilan as well as nimilan all the rasas in unmilit they arise from shant and they nimilit and they again they reenter they become tirohit in shant but it's again a non dualistic position because the rasas are bhinna there are there are different states of mind and sentiments how these different states of sentiment or feelings or emotions how they get reconciled in shant so that is again a problem that is resolved by by abhinav gupta i give you an example while he was uh, writing four verses at the end of the chaturth udyota of lochana what how he remembers shiva and he projects his shiv bhakti he says sahitya sa praras bhog paro mahesh bhaktya swayam grahan durm daya grahita satan mai bhuya na lok vartani maji galat kaam ap kevalam puna tadiya sambhog vivraddaye pura karo te dasyam गुरुवेश मशु स्वयं मैं साहित्य मैं महेश की भक्ति मैं महेश की भक्ति के साहित्य में हूं मैं आई वॉन्ट टू इंगेज माई सेल्फ डिवोट माई सेल्फ टू द भक्ति ऑफ महेश एज फार एज पॉसिबल सो माई साहित्य विद शिव माई साहित्य विद शिव साहित्य विद शिव का एक अर्थ कल्याण भी है शिव का एक अर्थ परम कल्याण भी है सो माई साहित्य विद शिव यू नो एंड देर फोर इन ऑर्डर टू बी ए शिव भक्त आई इग्नोर द वेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मजी गलत काम आप केवल पुनः आई इग्नोर द वेज ना इफ आई इग्नोर द वेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड देन हाउ कुड आई रजिस्टर द वर्ल्ड how could i represent the world and its ways into the world of art 
but tadiya sambhog vivriddhaye pura so my sambhog is not worldly my sambhog is with the bhakti of mahesh and another these are the called antipodal connections oppositional connections paradoxical connections while i negate this karma at the worldly level i i i am engaged as a shiv bhakt with the sambhog with shiv bhakti karote dasyam guru veshmasu swayam on in order to partake myself of this this shiv bhakti i enter the doors of several acharyas to partake of this shiv bhakti to understand the significance the various implications of this shiv bhakti look at how so you know so when once i become a shiv bhakt remember i i will cultivate this kind of sanyoga vyog this kind this kind of as i said this kind of asakti anasakti asakti to an extent asakti to an extent but this asakti would not lead me to be uh, in sanga with this world i will be asang but my asangata i will be anasakta only when i am in the company of shiva so that is again important so that is important for this kind of as i said pratyabhigya this pratyabhigya this representation representation alone will not lead you to pratyabhigya that is to recognize again because representational may be a mere show representation can only lead to some kind of some you can say some kind of uh, slogan monger pratyabhigya cannot be slogan monger pratyabhigya is as much internal as it is external because the external part of uh, pratyabhigya your your being in direct company of the param shiva you know or your having the realization of param shiva is is as i said is contingent on your being in society your being in culture your being in the world and that's why since the dramatic representation does it in act sit on the stage therefore that alokic pratiti terminates into alokic pratiti that is alokic non translator non translatability of of the of the indian words as astosi rightly said that we should not reduce our indian terminology to the western concepts and then use western concepts instead to understand the indian concepts you know that's not that should not happen we should sanskritize english and therefore pratyabhigya can never be translated into english and that's why shant cannot be translated into english and that's why sadharani karan cannot be translated into english now this uh, this uh, this, this uh, act of representation on in literature in arts may be done uh, through almost 10 kinds of strategies 10 kinds of tactics you know i'm sorry i need some water please i'm sorry i need some water ji we have to wait for some seconds uh in the meantime dr umed ji sir please uh, ashtosh ji i'm sorry ji please no no so, carry on sir so first of all as i said that uh, how to present that that the social the cultural the the here and now the here and now jo hamara vartman hai usko hum art mein karein kaise natya how how natya should be written that audio visual text should be created now how he defines itihas first itihas the knowledge of what has been and what is इतिर्ज्ञानम तस् हासो हर्षपूर्वको विकासो यत इत केचित इत इतिहास ये जो इत है इत रेफर्स टू द ज्ञान 
that gyan parak that history that is not related to gyan and when i say gyan it is this gyan the retrieval of this gyan of who we are is pratibhigya itihas that does not lead to pratibhigya to recognize who we are and perhaps we lost track of that knowledge of our own self and therefore there is that the has that is that is the harsha purvak vikas of of who we are who we were and who we will ever be at all levels that is itihas this is its avyavart given by avinav gupta which is different from the one which is given in mahabharata because that is purusharth centric because that is purusharth centric that is upadesha centric that is nidarshana centric you know so that is one now the strategies adopted by these are not these are not narrated or described by uh, by by bharat acharya bharat you know he says that you can use anukaran you can use anukaran imitation only you can use pratibimb so is say art mirror society and mirror society now remember he says that if art only mirror society he says there cannot be ras ashutosh ji jeevan darpan hai kala darpan hai jeevan ka samaj ka abhinav gupta kehta hai ki to fir ras ki nahi hogi pratiti ras ki anubhuti nahi hogi usse ji ji ye ek bahut mahatvapurna baat hai na anukaran se na pratibimb se और ना केवल चित्र से ना केवल चित्र से ये दिस इज अभिनव गुप्त वेन ही नरेट्स दीज टेन लौकिक प्रतीके प्रतीति ही सेज दैट दीज प्रतीति एलोन कैन नॉट क्रिएट रस नॉर चित्र नॉर सादृश्य दैट इज सिमिलैरिटी लाइकनेस नॉर आरोप आरोपण इफ suppose what's the need of writing abhinav abhinav bharati and lochan he could have written a prose he could have written a prose treatise you know a prose treatise of say 100 pages each why this why this kind of this uh, intertwined in that textuality of avinavarti and lochan that it is difficult to believe whether avinav gupta goes half way to meet either andavardhana or acharya bharat and then creates his own course it's very it's it's very interesting and enlightening as well so sadrash and arup they both can be used and then and then anadharana as well as anadhyasayatma gyan prati that is that is the that is a part of sanjay you create sanjay sanjay can be anadharanatmak that once you know a thing too much but still you are not sure that is true you know like we have had so many so many stories about kashmir there was a film called fija there was a film there were so many films they narrated the stories of kashmir kashmir hamara jannat hai aap dekhiye the portrayal of kashmir you were so familiar with kashmir being the paradise on earth that you forgot who you were remember that arop that sanshay that adhyavasay and that anadhyavasay also when you see a completely strange or unfamiliar thing you can't recognize it hai na to wo kehta hai ye bhi hota hai adhyavsay hota hai utpreksha metaphorical way of presenting things swapna dreamy there is so much uh, discussion of magic realism these days magic realism maya maya illusion illusion indrajal as i said magic realism indrajal also he he describes these 10 das prakar ki laukik pratiti alone these can't be done they they can't be they can be used to create any kind of uh, any kind of text but they cannot generate rasa because in order to 
in order to create rasa there is a condition that it has to be done through a process and the process is that ultimately all these all these strategies will be grounded anchored in a bhav bhav vibhav anubhav anukirtana through vichari bhav they are to be through satvikas they are to be acted out now not only on the stage but even in the course of a poem or a course of a katha he says that rasa can happen even in the course of katha but the effect would be would be lesser the effect of rasa in the course of a novel or in the course of a uh, of a poem would not be as powerful as as the the impact of rasa you know or the anubhuti of rasa through an audio visual text that is drama so again this is a this is important to understand that rasa rasa which was invested with all kinds of uh, I, i mean say attributes as well as its uh, its its results uh, what it what it what it uh, had the after effects uh, through from acharya bharat to mammat you know now that's all there but the a, a, a watershed in the history of rasa poetics was was uh, was that in the 11th century when abhinav gupta wrote abhinav bharati and lochan he invested that language only he invested those dramatic strategies you know with the element of alokikta with that element of of as i said pratyabhigya and then shant and then sadharanika now come to another element the sarvavarnikta of which is related to sadharanika now if we we are we are surrounded by all kinds of forces of vokism vokism and 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 anti bharat you know ideologies which are which which surround us from all sides in academics as well as in our political cultural space we have to contend with these forces now the first is as i said that the ek bharat shreshth bharat said that bhakti bhakti is prim- primarily brahmanical it is anti first it is anti shudra second it is anti women hai na and third it is anti humanity so the entire spiritual space of india the you can say entire vimarsh of knowledge gyan in india is anti women is anti dalit you know because it is brahmanical without ever pointing out what brahman what brahman uh, these pratyay are and they are anti humanity now this is the purva paksha go to gayatri chakravarti swayok homi baba i am not using a, a kind of uh, a modern modern template like you can use karl marx hegel and uh, hebamas to derrida to say that uh, they have a different take on india though they derive so much from india but yes yes they were so hostile to india i am talking about our own people who are responsible for the propagation of bharatiya gyan paddhati and pranali what is happening to the indian literary theories in indian universities why are they optional sub papers only they are not the, you teach them papers of sahitya where where all the literary theories are west are at the center and indian literary theories you know they are either optional or they are through the translation of english they are inserted here and there as footnotes only footnotes only. so my point is that this has got to be countered with as to how we counter this kind of propaganda anti india anti bharat propaganda first of all in the first uh, chap you know it is sarvavarnik we all know it is sarvavarnik natya is not meant for the enlightenment delight joy aesthetic bliss of only one kind of community that is the upper caste or 
uh, Aparvarana, you can say there is no mention of caste, remember? Those who are the Adhikaris and those who are not the Adhikaris. It is Sarvavarane. It is Natya Veda is the, is, the, is the Pancham Veda primarily because it is Sarvavarnik and secondly, it is to be aesthetically produced as Krila Nayaka so that the people who are outside the pale or domain of organized knowledge, they could also partake of that knowledge because that knowledge which was, which they could not possibly, possibly have. Remember, they could not possibly access that profound knowledge and therefore it is through bhakti. Bhakti is also sarvavarnik. Bhakti is also sarvavarnik. So Abhinav says, now this is Abhinav's innovative, innovative description that natak is produced through pratibha. Another important term that Ashtosh that we have to discuss is pratibha. And in this pratibha, there is neither a varna nor jati. It is sarvavarnik because the sadharani karana can happen. Sadharani karana is, is not generalization or, simpli or simplification. That is again a problem. How to, how to uh, use English to describe uh, these highly culturally and spiritually loaded uh, concepts which are central to Abhinav's darshan. It was his contribution. Sadharani karana. That there there can be asadharani karana through English. There was an asadharani karana even through Sanskrit and uh, to an extent when uh, you are always engaged in a kind of, uh, uh, as I said, shabda jalam, maharanyam, chitta brahman karakam. When you are only engaged in vitanda, chal, you know, the, in uh, the categories of nyaya, when you are using Sanskrit only to counter others without producing any knowledge, either taking recourse to chal or jati or nigrahisthana, even in our nyaya darshana, language will not, is no entitlement. Language is no entitlement for creating knowledge. Oh, how? That's why the term Sanskrit is important. If Sanskrit does not produce sanskaras, then it's difficult to call it Sanskrit. So, so my point is this, that Sadharani Karana, it is very easy to create an Asadharani Karata, kar, kar, Asadharani Krata art, like most of the cubist art, most of the novels produced by Salman Rushdie or modern day Indian uh, fiction writers, modern day Indian poets in English, or even in Hindi, they create asadharani karata art. They get big awards also. But no one understands their art. Because that is not sadharani karata. Now, sadharani karata does not mean that you understand in an idiom which is understood by all, you know, that is one important part of it, but not the whole of it. When, so, in order to first, at the level of content, a writer or a dramatist chooses that content which is related to the sukha and dukha of the world. It is this sukha and dukha that has got to be sadhanaikra. And in that sense, even the vibhitsa, bhayanaka, radra, you know, these three, why should there be? Why should we relish vibhatsa rasa, bhayanaka rasa, and radra rasa? He questions because Karuna Rasa, Karuna Rasa will produce grief, sorrow. Bhayanak Bhay, Radha anger. We must discuss. And they become Asadharan. They become Asadharan. Asadharan in the sense you can have a kind of a display, a representation of. Of, of the of the disgusting uh, pictures of society or any disgusting aspect of society a mahamari an epidemic only a scene of war 
you know so many films have been made on second world war first world war so many films but the point is that he says that any work of art it has got if it is it has got to be uh, produce it has got to produce rasa it has got to be sadharanikra that is it has to undergo a process where it is sukha dukha samanvita and it creates the conditions so that most of the people who are outside the pale of knowledge can also participate in it and therefore women and those shudras as a varna those who did not have that kind of capability that aptitude still we we, we select people uh, on the basis of the aptitude on the basis of that that kind of capability whether it is intellectual capability or physical capability or potential you know you select people so it was not in a sense it was not a racist construction to deny the people that kind of access to art and knowledge it was based on certain kind of innate human capabilities or incapabilities so uh, what abhinav did that abhinav opens up the entire domain of knowledge as well as aesthetics as well as the rasanubhuti the domain of rasa that it is through this that people who are who are outside otherwise who are otherwise outside i can't play lawn tennis but i relish lawn tennis when i see the french open being played i can't play because those that that audio visuality of the french open which i access through my tv set now that allows me empowers me enables me to partake of that anubhuti in a one way in a very crude way i am trying to tell you so i am an outsider i am an outsider to tennis the idiom of tennis in all its complexity i am an outsider to ved i am an outsider to the upanishads i am an outsider to all those sh uh, shilp arts and intricate knowledges but it is through the representation their representation on to the stage or it is their artistic or aesthetic representation through which even those people who are outside that domain of knowledge organized knowledge institutionalized knowledge they participate they become the agents they get that kind of access to that knowledge in order to again uh, abhinav gupta further say that the story is not complete even when you have rasanubhuti then there is a kartavya bodh now this is important that very few essays i have read where this kartavya bodh has been highlighted because he says that why shastra shastras are there but if through the shastra people are not inspired to practice the values of the shastra then shastra shastras are lifeless so art is lifeless drama is lifeless poetry is lifeless or you can say meaningless until or unless through art through literature through sahitya through sahitya shabda arth sahitya if i am not in sahitya with the good of the world well being of the world well being of this entire srishti well being of my family well being of society at every level i should be in sahitya with the well being of all how how i am having a sahitya with nature so if i read margaret atwood's novels who is a great eco feminist in using western parameters but to me she is a very dharmic writer she is a writer who who through sadharanikarana now margaret atwood in her novels creates those conditions particularly surfacing that that nature becomes humanized and the humans identify themselves with nature it is this tanmayi bhav it is this tadatmya where the dancer and dance where a kind of non dualism occurs while you watch uh, you know our own uh, you can acharya dance acharya sonal man singh ji in acting odishi or uh, nat uh, bharat uh, nat uh, bharatanatyam you 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 forget whether it is sonal man singh or bharat muni or sorry or or bharat natya or odishi so whether dancer and dance as w8 says 
how can I differentiate the dancer from the dance? It is when this dance gets sadharana ikrat. It is when the dancer and dance both kules. And that's why he says that the writer, the text, writing and the reader. That is the sahride. Sahride, the writer, the director, the actor, the stage, as well as the sahride. They are all the embodiments of Shiva. It is this Shivatva. Where every, where the entire stage, when the texts, the writer, the writer's consciousness, the actors who are who are acting on the stage, now they all are the different facets. They are all anchored. They all exist in that shiva, and that's why he says that I write this Abhinav Bharati only to get access to. He says, what is that Shivam Shiva Salila? जो जगत का कल्याण करने वाली जो शिवत्व की सलिला है जो उसकी गंगा है मैं उसको पाना चाहता हूं इट इज दिस इट इज दिस शिवत्व बोध व्हिच इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम स्वत्व बोध बिकॉज़ इफ यू पार्टेक इफ यू यूज द द द शरीर भाष्य ऑफ शंकर और यू कैन से अद्वैत वेदांत देन दिस कर्तृत्व बोध यू यू मे गेट deviated from this kartatva bo remember that's why that's why chit ichha anand and kriya or gyan they are all intertwined without kriya kriya is necessary kriya is an essential component without which your gyan would be inactive so what is that gyan that you derive from art and what you do afterwards so on the one hand you remain quite worldly in the sense that you are here and now situated located in society as a sahirde as a sahirde who after watching or reading a, an audio visual or a text remember you know gets to know about about the truths about society lok about about this world about this srushti universe and about her own being her own essence and in that sense rasa raso labdhwa he anandi bhavati one who gets access to that state of rasanubhuti that state of rasanubhuti you know he gets uplifted from this worldly from this from this worldly net of snares and cares that is that is the stage which is anirvachani which is anirvachani so so the, the 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 level of abstraction or i would say the level of mysticism which is there which he receives which he uses as he was a, one of the foremost uh, exponents of kashmir shaivism he demystifies what i am trying to say he renders the abstract into concrete he renders all those aesthetic uh, postulations of acharya bharat and the and, and and the later commentators into very concrete terms into very concrete social and cultural terms and therefore pratibhigya is important and therefore pratibhigya and therefore shanta is important now therefore shanta is important mm. remember there are so many so many theorists in india who questioned including dhananjay that shanta cannot be and should not be enacted on to the stage because shanta cannot be because it is ultimately shanta is an anubhuti how can it be enacted on to the state what are the vibhav anubhav and vibhari bhav of shant to be enacted on to the state so and abhinav it was who said, and remember this is an interesting story that this shant the, the term shant ras or you can say the shant state mental state of of shant first occurs in a in a treatise on mathematics <laughs> this is india 
this is india <laughs> that you have uh, raj tarangani starts now the book of history raj tarangani starts with shantaras ashtosh a historian a historiographer in india starts the book of history that after reading history the after having that prithivigya history should produce a state of shanta but that doesn't mean that vibhats should not be there bhayanak should not be there rodra should not be there you know or karuna should not be there these are the states which can aapko wo vyathit kar sakti hain kashmir files and kerala stories uh, can can frighten you they can horrify you bhayanak hai vibhats hai lekin dekhiye ye abhinav gupt ka bahut bada contribution hai wo kehta hai isi mein to shant hai इसी में तो शांत है जब तक ये एक्ट आउट नहीं होगा विभत्स सो विभत्स भयानक विभत्स भयानक एंड करुण दे आर ऑल टू बी एक्टेड आउट ओनली टू फाइंड देयर अल्टीमेट सबस्ट्रेटम दैट इज देयर जो उनका आधार है आधार भूमि है जहां से सारे रस उत्पन्न होते हैं और जहां से सारे रस जाते हैं बिकॉज दैट इज द आधार सो so that when i say and then he exemplifies what is the purpose of that anushtap where shok became the shlok he mm-hmm. gives the example of anandavardhan also uses the same but abhinav further describes this in a manner that this shlok emerges from the worldly shok acharya sorry maharshi valmiki sees that one of one of the pair of that crunch is killed with an arrow by that hunter and and then when that 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 female is started crying female bird is started crying then acharya valmiki who had that sanitized heart purified heart you know purified heart then when he watched it that shoka became the shloka now remember this was not the individual shoka individual shok of chama call individual shok of agni shekhar who wrote a masterpiece uh, known as nilagatha you know nilagatha agni agni shekhar ji one of the founders of pannun kashmir read an agni shekhar ji's poems how kashmiri hindus were systematically subjected to genocide but newspapers if suppose you read these stories in newspapers or government reports they don't become rasa they don't produce rasa so remember the point is that the killing of the bird was not only the shok experienced by by valmiki was not the individual shok of valmiki had it been so it could not have been the the emblem of karuna rasa it was sadharnik rasa it the shoka of that that karuna of that 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 moment the karuna of that moment that pathos of that moment you know bond bond humanity that whenever that moral order would be disturbed and violated dharma eva hatuvanti whenever that dharma whenever that moral order moral law will be violated remember it will create chaos which can only be repaired which can only be you can say retrieve to its originary or original condition of peace through through that kind of identification with it through that kind of you can say tanmayi bhav it so that tanmayi bhav is generalized that that violation of nature that that killing that merciless killing of that bird by now that is a metaphor that's a rupa whenever the adharmic forces violate the order of dharma remember karuna becomes more important there can be even vibhats but it presupposes the reestablishment of shant if there is no reest if there is no argument for the reestablishment of shant then there is no case for either vibhats or bhayanak bhai hum apne drawing room mein baith ke yeah hum main pad raha hu i don't want to be flustered and disturbed to, uh, by watching these scenes of genocide remember our 
our so much secularized government as well as so much secularized uh, highest court they have already washed their hands of uh, recognizing the genocide of hindus in kashmir unhone kaha hai hi nahi koi kashmir mein kuch nahi hua hai so remember what i am trying to say by watching kashmir files and kerala stories merely as representations ashtos this is important without having a sense of pratibhigya is counter art is then counter aesthetic it is anti abhinav gupta anti abhinav gupta would never support that you should watch kerala stories you, now that is a slice of kashmir history that is a slice of history now you have to sensitize as a samajik you have to be sensitized because that that whole thing has been sadharanikrat in the domain of art in the domain of that cinematic narration read their poetry of those dislocated kashmiri hindus read why doesn't any prime minister go to the jammu refugee camp to see the plight of those families now that is so now the kashmiri hindus are using art now they are using art in several ways to remind you to partake of that to recapture that 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 gyan through pratibhigya remember and for this avinav gupta's discourse on pratibhigya and secondly the uh, look at the discussion of patra the avinay by uh, by avinav gupta who what is the relationship between the role and the artist and the abhinaya and the immediate context that is the darshak look at this this has not been clarified by by acharya bharat muni in in a, in a natya shastra you know what he says instead that that these these actors these nat are merely the patra patra it is in these and through these patra that rasa would be carried through rasa means that aesthetic experience would be carried through these patra now these are their roles their roles are mere roles they are dictated to them they are they are you can say grafted on to them but their own subjectivity does not remain does not does not become ram that is to say one who is playing the role of ram or ravan is ravan is not a villain the one who plays the role of ravan is not a villain does not become a villain and one who plays the role of ram does not become ram and that is why this is the alokik pratiti that if that 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 actor plays the role well no then by playing that role according to according to his or her bhav and sanskar bhav and sanskar capabilities and sanskar which uh, one uh, you know one acquires as well as evolves through practice so he hints at that that that, that acting is is a, is a, is an art where the actor does not become that person whose role he or she is playing so this distance between at two levels the distance distance is first distance he hints at that the pradhan path the pradhan pradhan means ram the ram is not absent here ram is not present so ram has no varman now now ram is to be presented on to the stage so the first is there cannot be a real ram on the stage now so there is a there is a ram on to the stage so one who will act out the role of ram first distance and then those who will play the role of ram or ravan they know the role but they do not become ram or ravan this is the second distance and third distance is that when the viewer when the viewer sees the role sees the actor and the acting the abhinaya i mean that that is abhinaya now remember the he also knows tanmayi bhav that acting that abhinaya that those vibhichari bhavs as they are acted out those satvikas they create a suspension of disbelief that this is true this is true it creates a world of illusion in the minds of in the minds of the viewer but 
then the viewer all your understands that he is a marvelous actor he is or she is a marvelous actor who played the role of that uh, that heroine in that uluta punjab that uh, that 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 girl now she is not a drug addict she was not physically you know exploited by these people who were uh, engaged in drug trafficking it is all illusion but remember that intensity with which she performed the role of that victim you know so that is this distance as well as identification there is a distance even while while you identify with ashtosh so i do not become ashtosh even though i identify myself temporarily with the role ashtosh angiras has been playing as a moderator and coordinator and sutradhar of this webinar because i cannot be ashtosh angiras and ashtosh angiras cannot be me so this kind of distanciation which occurs in western theories of literature in 20th century through the theory of warfram warfram's dung that is theory of alienation only in 1940s and 30s in germany this was well known to our acharyas and that's why that's why in the discourse of rasa this asakti and anasakti they both are intertwined anasakti pres presumes you can say anasakti anasakti subsumes asakti or what i am trying to say while doing my duties as a father to my son i am asakt to my son since i am his father but i am anasakt because after performing my duty i will be anasakt therefore the element of kartratva shakti element of kartavya that one should perform one's dharma therefore drama should always be dharma centric the drama should always be centered on, along the axis of moral law moral law that is justice that is righteousness that is the essence of the being and this dharma is not a different from the shant the state of shant because because dharma shant presupposes the the protection of dharma the propagation and practice of and establishment of dharma you know is necessary for the state of shant there is no peace possible if there is no dharma if through adharma you inflict peace just a government is rejecting that there is no hindu genocide so all is fine with the kashmiri hindus we will go on killing these terrorists and there will be peace no the this 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 again this creates how when you transmute this into the world of art or culture or spirituality it would say that even this kind of the kinds of tactics or strategies that you are using if they themselves are adharmic if they themselves are are full of injustice you know you cannot produce justice of course when you when you take recourse to violence to to counter greater violence that is dharma that is dharma dharma does not mean uh, the the as as ahimsa paramo dharma has often been uh, often been misinterpreted ahimsa does not mean absence of hinsa it is ahimsa so you do not harm others for the sake of harming others either through vacha karmana or manase remember so my point is this very carefully you should see that how through the entire ecology aesthetic ecosystem that abhinav gupt put that abhinav gupta acharya puts in place on the one hand he is addressing the social the immediate social and cultural context that that these aesthetic theories india does not have an aesthetic or literary theory which is which does not have a loka dharma and therefore this his discourse on loka dharmata of of art loka dharmata of art that only that art is eternal only that art is eternal that is rooted in its immediate context immediate context so that loka dharmi art loka dharmi representation remember that 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 pilanet remember there is a debate in the first and second chapter in that dana and devata sorry devata and and 
so devta are those people who are considered good considered good and dana are those who always do who are even more scholarly than the devatas they are more uddami than devatas they are more prosperous than devatas that's strange so when the brahma was uh, enacting it is prajapati brahma who gave the nativate so when he said that remember uh, it is for the sake of this devasura sangram in which eventually the devatas turn victorious that i am going to write a play in act to play they say why should you create a natya in which the defeat of the danavas is pro, is to be projected and propagated now it is a biased production of natya aap pehla dekhiye na so the dana the the so so brahma has to give an answer prajapati has to give an answer that a natya should remain unbiased kashmir files and kashmir kerala stories if they are biased in narratives then they lose the label of being good art they are not they project that really as it is therefore what is prajapati's answer prajapati says that look it is all the actions where they are ethical or unethical will be presented the unethical actions of even gods will be presented the ethical actions of the demons unke bhi unhone kaha prahlad and dhruv they are your heroes they were or bali bali unka they are the they are greater than the than the devas how can you say that all the danavs are bad natak is not meant to 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 divide humanity or divide this world divide this srishti into this world of do gooders called devatas and this world of of uh, do badders or do wicked deeds called danavas no he said that i have to i have to lokanukirtanam ye trilokya ka lokanukirtan karega bhavanukirtan karega ye jo natya hai if you do good then good things will be enacted if some there are people who are, who continuously do bad unethical things then those wicked deeds would be presented so adham uttam or even pap karma they are all will be presented but with a view to correction so that society and its units that is the members of the society would receive that proper instruction also apart from having entertain apart from having manoranjan you know apart from having manoranjan they should also get the instruction that they should revert back to dharma whether they you are you are devata or dana remember i am presenting you the world as it is now if the if the people who constitute this world if they want to destroy themselves my play would be as it is but but the aesthetic logic of my my work will be that in order to save this world in order to Uh, you can say make this world a beautiful place this entire srishti meaningful and constructive and creative you have to follow dharma you have to follow purushartha so that is the ethical imperative of art without being a propagandist he never the prajapati says that and it is in this sense that not cannot be or literature if it is used for a biased political ideological propaganda as it was done in the case of most of the leftist artist productions and leftist uh, literary theories now then uh, they from using our own indian uh, theories of literature they are not they are not true literary works or critical works they are the biased critical works because they don't present things as they are and therefore this kind of explanation given by abhinav gupta that at all points remember funnily enough what are why should why should art be created why should drama be created now i am reading it from chapter 19 of his commentary on on natya shastra abhinav bharati natya shastra chapter 19 what he says भविष्य युगे प्रायो भविष्य अबुधा नर यस यू शुड कंटिन्यू क्रिएट आर्ट और लिटरेचर 
you should there is a need to create art and literature because in the times to come there will be murkh there will be people who are abodha bhavishyanti yuge prayo bhavishyanti abodhara most of the people will be foolish stupid kerala story is needed kashmir undano is needed dardpur is needed agni shekhar's nilgatha is needed and kashmir files is needed because bhavishyanti yuge prayo bhavishyant ye abudhana rahe hain hum log we never had any gyan of what happened to us so if your gyan books if your entire mere paas acharya virin kumar ji hain if your entire ed- education system became a flop it only created professionals who are deracinated highly salaried equipped with western degrees and so many foreign trips and they have no sense of what happened to us and who we were and what we have eventually become bhavishyanti yuge prayo bhavishyanti abudanara ye chape hai bhavishyanti ye te yatna shrut buddhaya unko shrut buddhi lane ke liye unko buddh banane ke liye un abudhar un murkhon ko aur maaf kariye unme se bahut se murkh hum hain bahut se murkh jo hum par shasan karte hain wo hain bahut se murkh nyayalayon mein hain इन मूर्खों की कोटि नहीं आप फिक्स कर सकते कि ये ब्राह्मण है ये शूद्र है ये, ये और ये न्यायालय में है ये प्रोफेसर है ये रीडर है तो कम मूर्ख है नो वज्र मूर्ख हो सकता है प्रोफेसर वज्र मूर्ख हो सकता है न्यायालय में बैठने वाला वज्र मूर्ख हो सकता है कुलपति आप जरा बात तो करिए और इसमें वो भी नहीं है वाई आर यू अफ्रेड ऑफ दो फोर्सेज ऑफ ब्रेकिंग इंडिया वेन यू योर सेल्फ आर इन्वॉल्व इन इन एन अकेडमी in an educational institution to break india you are involved in the process to ye jo ashto shangres ka jo prayas hai ye punjab vishwavidyalay mein nahi ho sakta yahan par baithe honge punjab vishwavidyalay ke liye main to wahan gyan ka in charge raha hu bhai meri bhi to culpability hai main bhi unhi murkhon mein se ek hu main nahi kar maine kiye 80000 prashth maine bhartiya gyan parampara ke create kiye koi bhi appreciation nahi किसी ने देखे भी नहीं अस्सी हजार पृष्ठ आशुतोष भारतीय ज्ञान परंपरा के एक वेब पोर्टल पे सिंगल हैंडेडली डाल दे किसी भारत के विश्वविद्यालय में हुआ लेकिन क्या इट्स इट्स सिंगल हैंडेड इट वाज और ये कोई मैं सुधीर कुमार के हसीत से नहीं कह रहा हूं इसका साधारण ही कृत करें जो लोग आज इस सभा में बैठे हैं जो आशुतोष कर रहा है जो वीरेंद्र जी कर रहे हैं जो राजानक आनंदवर्धन भी राजानक थे पूछे सुनील जी से तो ये राजानक जी रहना साफ कर रहे हैं ये सब प्रयत्न हम इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि प्रतिभिज्ञा मिले ये प्रतिभिज्ञा के क्षेत्र में आए भारतीय जो अभिज्ञ हो चुके हैं जो हुए सिस्टमेटिकली जिनका साधारणीकृत जिनके दुखों का साधारणीकृत नहीं हुआ साधारणीकरण नहीं हुआ जिनका असाधारणीकरण हुआ असाधारणीकरण सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हुआ असाधारणीकरण संसद में हुआ जब उन्होंने मना कर दिया वो असाधारणीकरण था वैशिष्ट्य बना दिया उसे उसको वैशिष्ट्य बनाया तो फिर उसने कहा कि जब जब ज्ञान अपना ज्ञानी अपना ज्ञान छोड़ेगा शिल्पी अपना शिल्प छोड़ेगा समझ में आया ना शिल्पी शिल्प छोड़ देगा ज्ञानी ज्ञान छोड़ देगा चिंतक और वैराग्य जो वैरागी है जो वीतरागी है वो अपना वैराग्य छोड़ेगा नाट्य की आवश्यकता आर्ट की आवश्यकता है इस संपूर्ण संसार में जितने जो जिसने हम कहते हैं लोक हित के लोक का मतलब हमारे यहाँ लोक का भी हित देखिए लोक सिर्फ सोसाइटी नहीं है पीपल नहीं लोक का अर्थ संपूर्ण त्रैलोक की पीछ सृष्टि संपूर्ण सृष्टि ब्रह्मांड का अर्थ भी लोक है सो so, लोक का हित करने के लिए नाट्य चाहिए लोक में जो विभ्रम है जो संशय है जो स्मृति भ्रम है जो स्मृति भ्रष्टता है उसको काउंटर करने के लिए उसमें प्रतिभिज्ञा का संचार करने के लिए नाट्य चाहिए और इसलिए अभिनव गुप्त कहते हैं कि इसलिए हमें नाट्य हमें नाट्य का हमें नाट्य का वह पक्ष देखना चाहिए जिस पक्ष से रसों का अर्थों का जिसे वो कहते हैं कि अर्थों का 
अर्थों का रसों में परिपाक हो और रस अपने साधारणीकृत वो जो रसार्थ हैं जो अर्थ रस है वह साधारणीकृत रूप साधारणीकृत रूप में सहृदयों के द्वारा ग्रहण किया जाए और समाज में संचारित हो अगर वो समाज में संचारित नहीं होता तो आपका जो एस्थेटिक नॉलेज है आपकी जिस जिसे आप नॉलेज कहते हैं मेरा यह साहित्यिक ज्ञान है उसका कोई अर्थ नहीं है ऐसा कोई ज्ञान नहीं है जो साहित्यिक हो मात्र सा ऐसा कोई ज्ञान नहीं है जो कलात्मक हो और इसलिए हमारे यहाँ शिल्प और विद्या में फर्क नहीं है शिल्प और विद्या में ध्यान रहे जो हमारे कोटियां हैं ये सब कुछ समग्रता के रूप से नाट्य में कैसे जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा कि सिर्फ वो अनुकृति नहीं है प्रतिकृति नहीं है वह उसका अनुकीर्तन है और अनुकीर्तन वह तभी हो सकता है जबकि वह भाव अनुभाव ऐसा शब्द बताइए भाव का अंग्रेजी का कोई भी मुझे विकल्प बता दीजिए पूरी अंग्रेजी की वोकेबुलरी में भाव जैसा शब्द नहीं है भाव से ही भाव है भू धातु कर जैसे आप हैं सर भू धातु तो बी है तो बी से भाव क्या हुआ बी से वर्ल्ड क्या हुआ जहां भाव से ही भाव है फिर बी से इमोशन क्या हुआ भू से ही भाव है ध्यान रहे भू से ही भाव है और भू से ही भाव है ये जो हमारी जो हमारी भावना है ये जो हमारी भावना है ये हमारा बीइंग भी है ये हमारा बीइंग भी है ये हमारा बिकमिंग भी है और ये हमारा एसेंस भी है अंग्रेजी में इनके लिए अलग अलग लफ्ज इस्तेमाल करते हैं बिकॉज दे हैव ए वेरी ट्रंकेटेड ए वेरी ट्रंकेटेड वर्ल्ड व्यू वेयर द सेल्फ विच इज एक्सटर्नल एंड वर्ल्डली इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द सेल्फ विच इज इंटरनल इन वर्ल्डली एंड होलिस्टिक सो देर इज सो देर इज ए ऑलरेडी ए रिफ्ट ए काइंड ऑफ वेन आई से देर इज ए देर इज ए रप्चर जिसे आप अंग्रेजी का वो करें देर इज ए रप्चर बिटवीन हु हमारे यहाँ स्वरूप कहते हैं आप रामलीला खेली जाती है अभिनव गुप्त इवन गिव्स द इंस्टेंस ऑफ दो प्लेयर्स हु प्ले द रोल ऑफ राम ही सेज दैट दिस इज आरोपित स्वरूप होता है इसलिए लोक में उनकी वंदना होती है आरोपित स्वरूप एंड देन सो लॉन्ग एज दे एक्ट इट ऑन द स्टेज दे आर कॉल्ड स्वरूप मूर्तियों को स्वरूप कहते हैं स्वरूप कहते हैं मूर्तियों को ये कौन सा स्व है जिसके वो रूप है यह स्वरूप्यता जो है यह मात्र सादृश्यता नहीं है और इसके लिए आपको जैसे मैंने फिर आपसे बताया कि यह जो पूरा ये जो पूरा डिस्कोर्स है जिसमें कि वो कहता है इवन अभिनव का और आनंद उन्होंने अंत में आके जब आप उद्योग पढ़े रस और ध्वनि का जो संयोजन किया उन्होंने कहा आनंद वर्धन की ध्वनि क्या है देखिए बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट बात है अभिनव गुप्त कहते हैं मैंने आचार्य आनंद वर्धन के ऊपर लोचन लिखा बट वॉट इज द ध्वनि ऑफ आनंद वर्धन वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस वाई शुड वी रीड आनंद वर्धन एज आनंद वर्धन यूजिंग हिज नेम इज बिकॉज ध्वन्य लोक इज द फर्स्ट टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट टेक्स्ट इन भारतीय ट्रेडिशन दैट रिजल्ट इन टू द वर्धन ऑफ आनंद of the rasiks it increase it, 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 it not this is not dil kumar this is not this is dil good. kumar he said no second he says that sometimes mm-hmm. these names are important why should rama is called rama not shyam now you can he says that the one he when he says lok pratit un namon ki zyada hoti hai lok pratishtha un namon ki hoti un zyada hoti hai जो बहुत ही इष्ट कार्य का लोक के महान कार्य का संपादन करते हैं इसलिए इफ अभिनव बिकम्स आनंद एंड आनंद बिकम्स अभिनव थिंग्स विल बी ट्रांसपोज एंड क्रिएटिव मैस आनंद वर्धन इज आनंद वर्धन बिकॉज वी रीड आनंद वर्धन इमीडिएटली द रसिक और द सामाजिक गेट्स टू नो दैट हियर वॉज अ ग्रेट फिगर ग्रेट स्कॉलर whose work and whose postulations whose positionalities result into the increase of my 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 pleasure my aesthetic pleasure and therefore anand vardhan becomes not only a name but a part of that anubhuti that part of that therefore ram you transpose the name 
राम का कृष्ण कर दीजिए कृष्ण का नाम कर दीजिए कर दीजिए ना आर्बिट्रेरली कर दीजिए दैट रामत्व इज सो इंटरटॉइंट विद द एक्शन ऑफ राम सो मच ऑफ लोक प्रतिष्ठा ऑफ दिस ऑफ दामत्व ऑफ राम दैट the change of name would would end up in utter disaster yes we the samajik have to be inspired by ram and we have to be cautioned against being ravan that is the purpose of ram ravan so ram will remain ram that's why he says that even my name abhinav you know even then in the next uh, you know uh, in the next karika he says even abhinav gupta is one who is mark you ashtosh i can send you that karika even what is what is gupta even what is gupta even what was not revealed what was not easily revealed you know was being is being revealed in a new in a new bhasha with a new prakash and vimarsh therefore this abhinavata this abhinavata of vimarsh you know of that which was hither to hidden hidden justifies my name abhinav gupta and therefore he says that my name creates that kind of namo it's an example of that navon meshishalini pratibha that i am making newer and newer connections in order in order to to create a world of art a world of you can say world on art because the critical discourse is a world on art where the creative imagination of a critic is at full play without being bound by the the the, the constraints of either time place race caste gender so this is another significant contribution of abhinav gupta that the aesthetics the literary theories are are not tied to these kinds of as i said restrictions or biased conditionalities that is you if you are a woman you have you are using a feminist framework if you are a modernist and progressivist you are using a leftist framework if you are a traditionalist you are using a vedic framework these are all the inherent and compulsory biases which are inflicted on our students by us and on our fellow you know colleagues you know in our conferences and seminars if you use any sanskrit pratyay in order to speak on shakespeare or say the uh, uh, say the the world of you say jean paul sartre they would say sartre was a marxist to this extent why are you using a vedantic framework when i was reading what is a, you know remember that what is literature very important work 1946 or 48 it was produced now what is the bottom line what is the essence of that work of art what is literature he says that literature is written to produce aesthetic pleasure to be shared by all i am not using acharya vinay gupta's word i am not using anand vardhana or or natya shastra or bharat muni's words or mammat word mammat's words i am using a hardcore marxist and though he came out of marxism he remained an atheist who said the entire purpose of literature or art is to create is to create in the heart of the readers remember aesthetic pleasure that is the foremost objective of art sahitya ka uddesh by munshi premchand when he was speaking about the by prayojan of sahitya in 1936 and he was the president of pro left left oriented progressive writers association it was a conclave held in lucknow 1936 what did he say he said that to say that literature is progressive sahitya is progressive is is a stupidity of the first order it is an anti intellectual it is a critical disnomer it is a critical non starter to say that sahitya has to to be pragatishi pragatishi lekhak sang ka adhyaksh sabse pehle keh raha hai ki aap iska matlab sahitya ka arth nahi jante sahitya to mool hai hi udat aur pragatishil hota hai 
जब साहित्य सब्लाइम होता है उदात्त होता है तो प्रगतिशील रहने की आवश्यकता क्या है ultimately you have to recognize recognize who you are this pratyabhigya is important and therefore all the dirt and dross all those scenes of love making and all those scenes of wonder or vela chahe wo veer ho chahe wo sa ho chahe wo karuna ho chahe bhayanak ho chahe vibhats ho chahe wo shangar ho remember in sabse hote hue aap eventually as a samajik you have to reach the state of shant through sadharanita and it is in the state of shant that you can retain you can protect you can perpetuate your pratyabhigya it is this disturbance or violation of your pratyabhigya that causes any social this social disharmony and and invites all kinds of disasters in society so this is all that i wanted to say and very, uh, i would say very brief and uh, rather disconnected because there are so many concepts which occur and recur and flash on your, in your mind and you are unable to reconcile all those concepts enunciated by uh, acharya abhinav gupta ji and remember the massive influence that he had on on the minds of indian particularly indian critics and he was somehow greatest injustice was done to acharya abhinav gupta padacharya ji that he became confined to sanskrit departments and departments of philosophy even there he was not a part of the mainstream uh, philosophy uh, course of philosophy and then the social cultural uh, significance importance which should be recognized was not recognized this is the time and i welcome this move to celebrate this this uh, this week uh, in remembrance of in the pratyabhigya of uh, of of acharya vinod gupta acharya and through acharya vinod gupta acharya we 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 try to get access we try to remember we try to uh, i would not use memorize or remember as i again say we have to have the pratyabhigya pratyabhigya of who we are and how can we retrieve who we were and who we really are our swasth hona our hamara swabhav mein aana hamara swaroop mein aana uske liye ye pratyabhigya आज जितनी आवश्यक है आज ऐसे हम संकट के दौर से गुजर रहे हैं जिसमें कि यह संपूर्ण राष्ट्र को प्रत्यभिज्ञा की आवश्यकता है हमारे पास एक राष्ट्र नायक है एक प्रधानमंत्री है जो इस बात को समझता है हम उसकी संकल्प को शक्ति दें गति दें और हम इस संपूर्ण प्रत्यभिज्ञा का साधारणीकरण करें हम इसकी लौकिक प्रत्यभिज्ञा इसकी लौकिक प्रती से होते हुए अलौकिक प्रती की ओर आए और अलौकिक प्रतीति की जो हम बात करते हैं प्रत्यभिज्ञा एज एज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ ऑफ शैव दर्शन वी शुड नॉट फॉरगेट टू मेंशन एज टू हाउ प्रत्यभिज्ञा वॉज डेलिबरेटली वॉयलेटेड इन द लैंड ऑफ इट्स ओन बर्थ रियली ग्रेटफुल सर इट्स अमेजिंग ब्रिलियंट इट्स really amazing uh, discourse and uh, now i invite professor umed singh ji chairperson department of english to acharya uh, dr sudhir kumar ji a word of apology for actually yes for for uh, you know for two links being created and what happened as a result that uh, we were not able to listen to the initial part of your lecture and so, and at the same time our introductory note and welcome address was also not audible to the other side so th- this was some confusion but anyway i really uh, feel excited and happy and elated on uh, listening to professor sudhir's uh, exposition on 
आचार्य अभिनव गुप्त कंट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडियन थियोरी ऑफ साहित्य द वे ही इलाबोरेटेड द सब्जेक्ट द वे ही ब्रॉट इन ऑल दी कंटेम्प्रेरी इश्यूज एंड द वे द पॉलिटिक्स लिटरेचर एंड एवरीथिंग वी डू एंड फील एंड द वे वी रिस्पॉन्ड हैव ए डायरेक्ट बियरिंग ऑन ऑन अवर लिटरेचर कल्चर एंड पॉलिटिक्स जैसे सर ने कहा कि आप एक डांस को डांसर से अलग नहीं कर सकते सर ने कहा कि आप जो साहित्य है वो लोक धर्मी हो लोक धर्मी हो साहित्य हो तो उस साहित्य का मीनिंग है और इसी तरह से हमारा शिल्प और विद्या में कभी फर्क नहीं रहा ये भारतीय ज्ञान परंपरा की कि बहुत सारी बातें उन्होंने हमारे सामने रखी और हमारे स्कॉलर्स को भी उन्होंने एनलाइटन किया तो मैं सबसे पहले तो उनका बिकॉज इन दिगनिंग ये नहीं हो पाया शायद आपकी तरफ नहीं सुन पाया माई हार्ट फेल्ट ग्रेटिट्यूड टू प्रोफेसर सुधीर कुमार जी एंड अदर एनलाइट स्कॉलर ऑनलाइन एंड हु मेड इट ए सक्सेसफुल इवेंट बिकॉज की ये आप सब लोगों का ऑडियंस और जो स्पीकर हैं दे आर इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट सुधीर सर ने जो बोला है वो अगर ऑडियंस नहीं होते तो उसका कोई मीनिंग नहीं रहता है ना तो मुझे लगता है कि ऑडियंस आर इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट बट सर की तो साधना और तपस्या है हर वर्ड जो बोला है उन्होंने वो इट केम इट केम सो सो डी फ्रॉम इन साइड कि वो लगता है कि उन्होंने 40 साल तक अपने अध्ययन में वो एक साधना की है तपस्या की है और उनसे बीच बीच में मेरा भी संपर्क और संवाद और किसी न किसी बहाने मिलना रहा है तो जब भी मिले उनसे सीखा और उनसे सीखने की कोशिश हमेशा रहती है तो मैं अभी सभी से निवेदन मेरा ये कि जो बिकॉज आफ्टर दिस वेरी लॉन्ग एंड एक्सटेंडेड एंड एंड वेरी इनसाइटफुल लेक्चर लेट अस हैव सम टाइम फॉर 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 क्वेश्चंस फॉर ऑब्जर्वेशंस इफ देयर आर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस सो सो आई इनवाइट क्वेश्चंस क्वेरीज ऑब्जर्वेशंस फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस यू कैन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ सर डॉक्टर सदानंद जी और एनी वन एल्स वेलकम सर नमस्कार टू एवरीबडी इट वॉज वन ऑफ द बिलियन टॉक्स इन ऑल दीज इयर्स सुधीर सर माई प्रणाम टू यू होल हार्टेडली यू ब्रॉट ऑल द कंटेम्प्रेरी इशूज एंड ऑल्सो डिलिनेटेड द पॉइंट्स वाई कश्मीर हैज बीन एलिनेटेड इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंटेम्प्रेरी आइडियाज ऑफ अभिनव ही हैज सेट इन हीज tantra loka i had a one shloka shloka 98 which is very really relevant in today's uh, uh, today's world and most important because that gives us an idea how with this series got originated myself and dr ashutosh ji started uh, discussing about this uh, many years back and this is how this whole idea of awakening the movement in india about pratibhika and abhinav came all about he says महामहेश्वर अभिनव गुप्ता से यथा स्वभाव तो मलेशा यथा स्वभाव तो मलेशा अधर्म पथ वर्ति तत्वेश नियतियथम ज्ञान योगो स्थितो कवचिता विच टू माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज दैट ही कैटेगोरिकली डेलिनेट्स द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ मलेशा विच इज वाइल्ड एंड एलियन हिज देयर डिस्पोजिशन विच इंटेंसिकली फॉलो अधर्मा with motivation and purpose that is what is happening today in a way that this adharma starts drawing crowd in the form of rumination and following and begins to find a place as a way of life that's what has happened in india currently so therefore what mahamaheshwar tells us tat deshe niyati patham jnana yogo sthito kavachita offer resistance offer resistance and establish the centers of knowledge and yoga and propagate the path of dharma and that is what the whole idea is about to awaken this countrymen about the great contributions of no- mahameshwar abhinav gupta and whole santati and whole guru krama which have given the ideas about the bharat rashtra and uh, this awakening of uh, mahameshwar's works is basically awakening the glory of india and awakening of the glory of india is the awakening the hindu rashtra or awakening the sanatan or awakening the human values which mahameshwara has put into his various works 
as you rightly said that in tantra loka he gives us the idea of whole gamut of uh, current uh, uh, world view that is why we say that mahameshwara's contribution is so immense that it is very important that the indian people more so we kashmiris never knew about abhinava so the question was why we know don't know abhinava why this so much of uh, self criticism self uh, slumber so the idea is not only to awaken that abhinava within ourselves but to awaken this pratibhigya among each countryman so that they understand the glory of our ancient india the glory of our uh, sages and saints who have given so much to the human kind in a, in current kashmir you will never find any place associated with abhinava i have, it took me many years to understand where he lived where he went even the cave which where he finally entered and everybody knew that this cave is what uh, abhinava came finally there the name of the cave is now named in the name of some so called sufi saint and on uh, further enquiring that sufi saint never existed in the history of kashmir a fictitious name has been planted over it so there is a systematic attempt to remove the sanskrit hindu civilization of kashmir whereas in abhinava himself says and i quote in his 37th ahni he says where here and there the sages make their dwelling where in every place resides shiva himself except such a place as kashmir i feel for the fulfillment of all wishes and for the achievement of the perfect spiritual realization realization there is no other place in the world so see how much he has given uh, importance to his birthplace nobody has glorified kashmir as mahameshwara abhinav gupta has done and unfortunately we only uh, we only place kashmir as a jannat whereas mahameshwara says kashmir parvati paroksha tat swami maheshwara kashmir is herself parvati and we never quote this word we never put this word in, in, uh, instead of that we put an, uh, we uh, often quote jahangir who came to kashmir on his vacation and just said the jannat e firdaus kashmir is like a firdaus is like a jannat and all that whereas we never put more glory to the kashmir where mahameshwar said it is not a jannat or something it is herself parvati it is the beauty of this great genius that which we have never put before the people so i thank you uh, sudhi sir and uh, english department of uh, chaudhary devi lal university for giving this opportunity to listen to the sudhi sir's talk it was really illuminating brilliant and i think uh, sudhi sir has to now come forward and play like uh, what sachin or virat is doing and uh, <laughs> and awaken uh, awaken the people like me and many others who have joined here and make it a, a part of a great movement abhinav movement all across the country across the world thank you sir once again very much may i request uh, professor pankaj sharma please to propose a vote of thanks if there are no questions uh, i i after uh, hello uh, sir pankaj sharma yeah uh, i want to uh, just say something here yeah. okay well, you are welcome sir Yeah, uh, Krishna Mohan Pandey from Kashi Hindu Vishwavidyalaya. Uh, first of all, I thank uh, Professor Sudhir for giving me this opportunity, sharing the link, and the university for uh, organizing uh, this very significant talk. Uh, over the years, we have all been prey to this forgetfulness, this amnesia. Uh, hearing this, that uh, there was no such person. Uh, abhinav gupta is, was an imaginary person when someone has the courage to say this kind of thing look at the large uh, series of books that he has written and the way he has he has celebrated kashmir and in our psyche too from kashmir to kanyakumari it had been there uh, professor uh, sudhir ji referred to this kind of thing ha huh? what is the link that a text from kashmir is translated in the south and how this happens that a person born in kaladi has to reach kashmir and do his sadhana there this link has been there in our mind in our pratyabhigya and continuously we have been rather taught uh, to to forget this i am reminded of one of the shlokas where Uh, abhinav gupta acharya abhinav gupta himself uh, celebrates the kind of uh, 
प्लेस ही लिव्ड इन स्थाने स्थाने मुनिभिर अखिलई चक्रिरे एन निवासा यक्षाध्यास्ते प्रतिपदम इदम सस्वयं चंद्रचूड तन्मये हम तन्मन्ये हम समभिलषिता शेष सिद्धेरन सिद्ध्यई कश्मीरे भ्य परम परमथ पूरम पूर्ण वृत्तेन तुष्टई a place where so many rishis and munis live and where a, a sakshat shiva resides and anyone can fulfill all his wishes if one wants to get uh, the purusharthas there is no better place than kashmir it is just series of shlokas what to say of the uh, literary texts and the commentaries we we know primarily about the two only abhinav bharati and lochan and that too on rare occasions uh, uh, professor sudhir ji rightly pointed out that uh, in many universities it is, it is an optional paper this 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 has to be removed i am happy to uh, share that we have it in the compulsory paper but we we too had to struggle a lot for this he even here in banaras uh, so uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful speech the signif I, it's not just a word wonderful the way you could make us remember remember our glorious past i i remember acharya kapil kapoor using this this word we are all suffering from hanuman syndrome we need to be reminded again and again who you are huh. so uh, uh, professor sudhir kumar is on that way to remind others and it is the duty of all of us once ignited we should pass this torch on otherwise we have seen uh, there are so many thinkers who have used this these ideas and have never acknowledged i am reminded of sashur the teacher of sanskrit who learnt a lot who borrowed a lot from panini and uh, other acharyas and never mentions them if you we just compare his views along with the views of acharya panini he stands nowhere but perhaps uh, it was this tradition of the gurus that made those three disciples of sashur collect the notes and publish it in the name of guru i i see that link there the unnoticed link that the three of his students published those notes in the name of the guru this had been our tradition but they completely uh, left deliberately uh, deleted those those sources we have to find out those links uh, the way uh, professor sudhir kumar explained these two terms pratyavigya and sadharanikaran i think we need one more lecture for the other terms that were left out and uh, he rightly pointed out that it is sham it is shant it is that very stage of samatva from where whenever there is a vikar vikar not just in the negative sense but vikar is also a kind of uh, bhav where we enter for the time being and then come back so all all rasas emanate from shant and they have their shaman only in the shant all uh, are re reaching to that calmness so uh, i'm happy that i i was part of this lecture and uh, though in this mode uh, being with uh, many of these acharyas whom i knew acharya sadanand ji and ashutosh ji whom i knew by the just their names but i'm happy to be part of it thank you thank you all Can I just Professor Pandey for your brilliant observations, uh, Professor Pankaj Sharma. Ah, uh, the Department of English translated is really happy that we could become a platform. Listening to Professor Sudhi, and I am, I think, I am lucky that I have had this uh, benefit. मैं सुधीर जी का विद्यार्थी रहा तीस बत्तीस साल पहले तब मैं और आज में मुझे लगा कि कोई फर्क नहीं है सर जिस जिस ऊर्जा के साथ जिस क्षमता के साथ और जिस सोच के साथ पहले भी हमें जगाते रहते थे आज भी वो उसी एनर्जी के साथ हमें 
जगाने में लगे हुए हैं एमनेशिया की बात लगातार हो रही है तो सबसे पहले तो साधुवाद धन्यवाद सुधीर सर का के सुधीर सर ने हम सबको एक कलेक्टिव अमनेशिया से बाहर निकालने की कोशिश की है और हम सबकी भी जिम्मेवारी है कि हम उससे आगे बढ़ें उस निंद्रा से जागे मेरा धन्यवाद रहेगा प्रोफेसर आशुतोष अंगीराज जी को भी जिन्होंने एक मॉडरेटर के तौर पे इस पूरे कार्यक्रम के संचालन में जिम्मेवार भरा रूप अपनाया और बहुत सारे विद्वान यहाँ मौजूद है उन सबका सारी ऑडियंस का मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ और जो बात मैं एक छोटा सा अनुभव उसके साथ मुझे जुड़ गया है तो मैं शायद उस रीटेलिंग का उस री राइटिंग को इसके साथ जोड़ना चाह रहा हूँ कि अमिताभ घो एक, एक राइटिंग है एम एस सिक्स के बारे में एक मेनू रिटर्न इन ह्यूब्रू सिक्स है जो वास्को डिगामा के पूरे नेरेटिव को एक सिंगल तीन पेज के चार पेज के लेख से पूरे वास्को डिगामा को ध्वस्त कर देती है कि कैसे वास्को डिगामा का पूरा नेरेटिव पश्चिम ने बनाया भारत की खोज भारत के समुद्री रास्ते की खोज और एक चार पेज का पांच पेज का लेख लिखते हैं अमिताभ घोष के कैसे 1140 में अल्जीरिया से मछली पट्टनम चिट्ठी आ रही थी जा रही थी व्यापार हो रहा था समुद्री रास्ते हो रहा था यूरोप से भी हो रहा था और पूरे वास्को डिगामा का नेरेटिव जो है वो ध्वस्त हो जाता है वैसे ही बात आज सुधीर सर ने की है हम सब उनके ऋणी रहेंगे पहले भी हैं और साधुवाद है आप सबका कि आपने एक ऐसा मंच हम सबको दिया विशेष तौर पे इस विश्वविद्यालय को इस डिपार्टमेंट को दिया कि आज हम इतने विचार अपने साथ लेके जा रहे हैं गुड टीचर इज वन हु डज नॉट गिव आंसर्स बट ए गुड टीचर इज वन हु रेज दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड तो सुधीर जी ने वही सब किया उस सब के लिए आप सबका आयोजकों का प्रायोजकों का सब साथियों का डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से मैं तहे दिल से धन्यवाद करता हूं थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच इस सारे कार्यक्रम को पूर्ण करने से पहले मैं एक क्षमा भी चाहता हूं और निश्चित रूप से हम लोगों से शायद कोई मिस कम्युनिकेशन और एक कम्युनिकेशन गैप रहा है जिसकी वजह से ये कार्यक्रम उस रूप में नहीं चल पाया जिस उत्साह और उत्सुकता से हम लोगों ने इस चाह था मुझे नहीं मालूम था कि एक और लिंक भी जनरेट हो गया हुआ है और शायद वो शेयरिंग में कुछ मेरी तरफ से कमी रह गई लेकिन अंत भले का सो भला तो कुल मिलाकर के डिपार्टमेंट ने जो इनिशिएटिव लिया है इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट ने और मुझे लगता है हरियाणा में तो पहली बार ही हुआ होगा इवन पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी में भी कभी नहीं इस तरह का कोई इनिशियेटिव लिया गया होगा तो उसके लिए बहुत बहुत साधुवाद है डॉक्टर साहब को और उनके सभी जितने फैकल्टी मेंबर्स हैं उनके प्रति भी मैं अपना आभार जताना चाहता हूं कश्मीरी समाज की ओर से भी आप लोगों के प्रति अपना आभार जताना चाहता हूं कि आप लोगों ने इस सारे विषय को लिया है और निश्चित रूप से इस विषय को हम और भी अग्रसर करें क्योंकि शुरुआत में जिस वक्त हमने चार डोमेन्स की बात की थी प्रतिभिज्ञा क्रम और स्पंद और कॉल कुल तो इन चार के बीच में जब हम लिटरेचर को वेल्युएट करना शुरू करेंगे देखना शुरू करेंगे और रस और ध्वनि की बात करेंगे इन चार डोमेन्स के भीतर तो मुझे लगता है एक नई थ्योरी और एक नया पर्सपेक्टिव लिटरेचर को वैल्यूएट करने का उसका क्रिटिसिज्म करने का और क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग का हमारे सामने आ सकता है तो निश्चित रूप से आज की इस गलती के लिए मैं क्षमा चाहूँगा डॉक्टर उमेद सिंह जी से उनकी उन्होंने बड़ा ये मान रखा मैंने जब उनसे निवेदन किया था कि सर इस चीज़ को किया जाए तो उन्होंने बड़े खुले मन से इस सारी बात को स्वीकार किया और उनके डिपार्टमेंट ने जिस तरह से सहयोग दिया है उसके लिए मैं बहुत बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और निश्चित रूप से मुझे लगता है कि भविष्य में भी हम कोई ना कोई ऐसी योजना इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट इनिशिएटिव ले सकता है कि जहां पर एक भारतीय पद्धति से जो है वो इंग्लिश इंग्लिश तरीके डिवेलप कर पाए तो निश्चित रूप से हम लोग बहुत जल्दी ही कोई ना कोई वर्कशॉप इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम पे और कश्मीर शैव दर्शन का जो एप्लीकेशन एरिया है जो भी बहुत ओवर हो गया है उसको हम बहुत जल्दी लेंगे तो इन्हीं सब शब्दों के साथ आप सभी का विशेष रूप से प्रोफेसर उमेद सिंह जी का उनके सभी फैकल्टी मेंबर्स का इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट का और हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए सभी वो लोग जो बहुत दूर दूर से जुड़े हुए हैं और लगता है कि भाई वाकई ग्लोबल विलेज बन गया है तो उसके लिए मैं आप सबका बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और प्रोफेसर सुधीर जी की तो हमेशा कृपा दृष्टि बनी रहती है कभी उन्होंने मेरी बात मैंने उनसे निवेदन किया और कभी उन्होंने मना किया हो ऐसा कभी 
और भविष्य में भी ऐसा ही होता रहेगा इन्हीं सब शब्दों के साथ आज के इस कार्यक्रम को हम पूर्ण करते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी with all the technology media and facilities that we have travel facilities we have we have wrongly understood many things or understood things which are in in an incomplete manner about kashmir we are still to understand many many uh, aspects of kashmir because it is not given either in the history nor in any of the textbooks which should have been there in the The lower classes in the school. Yes, thank you. Uh, Shivaji Pandey and uh, Dr. Shivaji Singh. So very briefly. Yes, sir. Uh, thank for such a great lecture. I have some questions for Professor Sudhir Kumar Ji. Uh, my first question is about Sahara Karan. I have. it is said that sadharani karan was uh, incarnated by abhinav gupta but as i read the books and shastras i think that it was incarnated by bhatt nayak we have references of acharya mammat and even the sarang dev of uh, uh, writer of sangeet ratnakar so i want to, um, uh, some explanation to comment on this right and my my second question is about bhakti as uh, i heard that bhakti was uh, popularized or generalized after the induction of islam in india but our vedas our our mantras uh, starts with the uh, reciting salutation of gods so i think that the bhakti is uh, primarily available in our vedas so this is my two curiosity from yeah. professor sudhir kumar sir right sir uh, but respond after uh, dr shamsher singh ji sir uh, shamsher singh uh, 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 i am dr shivaji pande and i am also in punjab university chandigarh uh, in the department of sanskrit ji 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 that's great sir wonderful ji namaskar sabhi ko namaskar ji professor sudhir kumar ji about the bhakti is uh, was bad for brahmans and it was anti shudra anti dalit woman it has been put before us through sandra incidents even mentioned in various scriptures for that you people have to answer those complicated questions Rather, the holders of Doctor Ambedkar's ideology, they opined that to oppose Brahmins at every level and to praise some political party is the real and true Ambedkarism. I have heard only one name who is a Dalit and who has some inclination towards Sangh Vichar Dhara. He is Sri Ramesh Patangeri from Maharashtra. 
who has uh, authored um, more than 52 books regarding the matter. So uh, uh, I request uh, Professor Asuto Sangirase to consider Ji. these things uh, and to discuss uh, conferences uh, on uh, seminars uh, uh, also. Uh, other, because we all... Ji, ji, ji. Yes. We will sure, take sure. it up in the next seminar. Thank you, Eric. Uh, we will certainly take up these issues. And uh, we also conducted a uh, uh, webinar on uh, Dr. Ambedkar, Sanskrit Shastri criticism of Dr. Ambedkar. I can share the video also. But uh, right now, a very brief comment by the Professor Sudhir Kumarji. Very, very brief comment, sir. Shivaji Ji ne mere adhani mitra jo kaha wo swayam uttar hai usme koi unhone prashn nahi hai kyunki sadhani karan par to itna bhatanayak ji se lekar mammat ji aap you you take up a critic who has not problem is who has not spoken on sadhani karan lekin sir pehle pehle sir ye kiske kiske dimag mein aaya ye 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 chhodiye aapko jo iski baat bata raha hu आप अगर ऐसे साधारणीकरण की बात करेंगे तो यह भी वेदों से ही मिलेगा आपको वेदों से ही मिलेगा क्योंकि एक और सर्व यू नो एकम द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एकम इज इननेटली इन इननेटली इंबेडेड इन द इन इन द नोशन ऑफ सर्वम सो साधारणीकरण इज दैट इफ यू मेक समथिंग विशिष्ट दैट इज अ साधारणीकरण सो दैट इज नॉट साधारणीकरण बट द क्रेडिट goes to acharya abhinav gupta padacharya that he was the first critic who conflicted with this notion of either generalization or you use the word popularization it is not popularization or generalization or 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 simplification he was the first to have said that this rasanishpatti is possible because if it happens through asadharanikarana he was the first to use the term asadharanikarana that visa vis sadharanikar so this is good for us who always who always were were glorifying who said it first who used this discourse for the first time things are not settled this way in indian tradition because our tradition is the tradition of you know unbroken tradition of discourse so the credit of to the credit of abhinav gupta acharya was that he related sadharani karan first to the entire ecology of drama whereby it it is to be saved from being asadharan that is one thing that if ram remains exclusively ram then ram is not ram does not have that place in 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 praja or in society if krishna only remains a krishna as an asadharan person how that krishnatva and ramatva on the other hand how the ravanatva of ravan has got to be sadharani he was the first one to say that the purpose of art is to prepare a reader for the sadharani krita arth because only in that space maximum participation of the people is possible for the hit of the world so since he was the first one to have discoursed along this axis he is important later on you are right that all the theoreticians have something to say either on shantarasa or sadharan and second is no question when you say bhakti emerges from the veda everything emerges from the veda and everything emerges from the veda all this trotra all the sukta tell me which sukta is not an example of bhakti which sukta like there is vak sukta saraswati sukta ratri sukta there is a sukta prithvi sukta they are the sukta because they presuppose a kind of what your tanmayi bhav your identification with that that is being worshipped by you so you pay your 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 you can say your sense of uh, uh, belonging your sense of devotion abhibhajya ang hain aap is prithvi ke isliye aapka kartavya hai prithvi ke prati yahi prithvi sukta hai to bhakti hai फिर आप छांदोग्य उपनिषद में जाइए आप तैत्रो तैत्रीय उपनिषद में जाइए सारी भक्ति है तो वेदों से तो सारा निकला ही है सारा आपका काव्य शास्त्र भी वेदों से निकला है है ना लेकिन 
तो इसमें कोई इसमें कुछ अन्यथा तो है ही नहीं इसलिए ये कहना कि ये वहां से निकला है इसमें कोई बात नहीं और तीसरा पॉइंट ये कि ये जो बात जो दलित एंगल की है मैं आपसे कह रहा हूं कि स्टिल इसका कोई भी अभी तक अर्थ नहीं निकला है दलित एस्थेटिक्स की अगर आप बुक्स पढ़ें देर इज ए मैक्सिमलिस्ट नोशन ऑफ दलित विच इज सार्वर्णिक मैं आपको सिलसिलेवार ढंग से अर्जुन डांगले की किताब है द आप जरा देखिए अर्जुन डांगले की एक किताब है उसमें सबसे पहले उन्होंने ये कहा है इट्स ए कास्ट इट्स इट्स बियॉन्ड कास्ट दैट वी हैव टू डिफाइन दलित एज ए कम्युनिटी द दलित कम्युनिटी मीन्स दोज पीपुल हु हैव हिस्टोरिकली कल्चरली सोशली रॉन्ग तो एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात अर्जुन डांगले ने कही उसके बाद बाबू राव बागुल ने अपने एड्रेस में जो उन्होंने दलित कॉन्फ्रेंस में दिया उन्होंने कहा दिस कैन नॉट बी ओनली कास्ट सेंजे तो जब सार्वर्णिक कह रहे हैं तो वही तो सार्वर्णिक बात है जो दलित है आप जरा पढ़िए तो पूरा नाट्य शास्त्र जो है वह सार्वर्णिक इस सेंस में है कि वह साधारणीकृत होकर वह हर जन जन के लिए है वो जो हुन रॉन्ग दोज हु आर डूइंग रॉन्ग ऑन अदर्स इवन फॉर दम देर आर इंस्ट्रक्शन तो ये एक अद्भुत टेक्स्ट है जिसको के हमने दरकिनार किया इग्नोर किया एज ए ब्रह्मेनिकल टेक्स्ट नामदेव ढसाल नामदेव ढसाल तो इतना एक्नोलेज दलित थिंकर है नामदेव ढसाल बिकेम द एडिटर और वॉज अंडर द पेट्रनेज ऑफ बाला साहब ठाकरे एंड ही स्टार्टेड राइटिंग एडिटोरियल फॉर सामना नामदेव ढसाल इज वन ऑफ द टॉर्च बेयर ऑफ दलित डिस्कोर्स इन इंडिया ये कहना आप बाबा आप बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर का लीजिए जब आप पढ़िए तो एनालेशन ऑफ कास्ट वो कहता है हमें हिंदू समाज का संगठन करना है तो बाबा साहब अंबेडकर का जो सपना वो पूरा नहीं हो रहा था उसमें ऑब्स्टिकल्स थी ही गॉट कन्वर्टेड टू बुद्धिज्म लेकिन ध्यान रहे ही रिजेक्टेड काल मार्क्स एंड मार्क्सिज्म तो ये क्योंकि धर्म सेंट्रिक था रीड हिज लास्ट बुक द बुद्धा एंड हिज धम्म ही रिमेन्ड धर्म सेंट्रिक सो धर्म सेंट्रिक बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर वी नीड ही मे He may have, I would say, he would have gone to the fold of Buddha or Bodh Sampradaya. You know that is also dharma centric. Thank you very much. Mm. Wonderful, sir. Thank you so much for this brief, brilliant responses to the queries and the comments made by the participants. Thank you very much, and thank you everyone, Professor Umed Singh ji. I once again. thank uh, sir final thanks is from my side nahi sir uh, we are really you. indebted sir on behalf of kashmiri samaj and uh, on behalf of uh, sanskrit society or sanskrit people i am greatly indebted to department of english and to you sir and to your colleagues for joining this for taking up this issue on abhinav gupt we are grateful sir we are really grateful to you and we look forward you, to some more uh, academic karmas on the uh, definitely sir definitely the... sir and we would continue to to learn from professor sudhir ji ji and uh, uh, these activities of course would be organized at the level of uh, uh, the group that we are in the process of making so with this uh, i thank the participants the resource person and uh, professor giraj ji thank you sir and good day thank you everyone thank you thank you so much uh, you can leave the meeting now uh, if you have not uh, filled the uh, link uh, that uh, uh, form please fill it up i will share again that form bahut bahut dhanyawad aayojan ke liye namaskar dhanyawad namaskar namaskar dr sir namaskar Thank you everybody. Good day to you all. Thank you. Sir, will you be sending it to the uh, WhatsApp? Uh, just I will share. Yeah, I can share on WhatsApp also. And uh, 